Israel's war against Palestinian militants reached Lebanon on Tuesday, where an Israeli strike killed Hamas's deputy leader, the group and security officials in Lebanon said. A high-level security official said that Saleh Halarouri was killed along with his bodyguards in the strike by Israel, which vowed to destroy Hamas after the movement's unprecedented October 7th attacks on Israel. Israel has previously announced the killing in Gaza of Hamas commanders and officials during the war. But Aruri is the most high-profile figure to be killed, and his death came in the first strike on the Lebanese capital since hostilities began. Israeli army spokesman Daniel Hagari did not directly comment on Aruri's killing, but said the military is highly prepared for any scenario and its aftermath. A second security official in Lebanon confirmed the information about Aruri's killing. Lebanese state media reported the strike hit a Hamas office in Beirut's southern suburbs, a stronghold of Lebanon's Hezbollah movement, a Hamas ally. Hamas TV said Israel had killed Aruri in Lebanon, and Lebanese media said a total of seven people were killed in the attack by an Israeli drone. The strike adds to widespread regional fears that the nearly three-month-old Israeli-Hamas war could become a wider conflagration. Hamas said the killing will not lead to its defeat, while Hezbollah vowed Aruri's death will not go unpunished. Hezbollah called it a serious assault on Lebanon and a dangerous development in the course of the war. Lebanon's Prime Minister Najib Mikadi condemned the killing and said it aims to draw Lebanon. Further into the Israel-Hamas war, the attack on October 7th resulted in the death of around 1,140 people in Israel, most of them civilians. Hamas-run Gaza's health ministry said 70 people were killed and more than 100 wounded in the Previous 24 hours during Israeli raids in Khan Yunis, Israel twice struck the Palestine Red Crescent Society PRCS headquarters, PRCS said, resulting in five casualties and three injuries among displaced people who had sought refuge. There and at a nearby hospital, United Nations agencies have voiced alarm over Gaza's spiraling humanitarian crisis that has left. 2.4 million people under siege.